Hi guys, welcome to this van tour of a custom layout in a Fiat Ducata L3 H2. Let's take a look inside. The owners of this van are a couple and they're going to be spending the next 12 to 18 months traveling around the UK and Europe to decide where they want to put their roots down in the next phase of their life. The van is called the Gecko and it's a light bright color scheme where the inspiration has been drawn from the tiles which were selected by the customer and we have matched the cabinetry door fronts and the soft furnishings to this tile. Around this van you'll see there's lots of unique elements that tie in that theme of the Gecko and one of these is the really vibrant uh, custom shower door where we uh, routed the shape of the gecko into the front which is something that we've never done before and we're really happy with how it looks. This layout has been adapted from our Kunu model with the fixed bed at the back and the shower behind the driver's seat. We've worked with the customers to come up with a design that works for them and it has multiple functions depending on what kind of environment you're in. So if you're hunkered down and you want to have your fixed bed up permanently, you've got a small worktop space here with your sink and which is underslung, but they didn't want to have any cooking facilities that were fixed appliances. So it's gonna be utilizing a portable induction hob and an air fryer to provide their cooking facilities using the socket outlets throughout the van. This gives them the flexibility to decide whether to cook outside if the weather's really nice. And we've put this double socket on the back side of the bench seat so that they can take their portable induction hob and air fryer outside. Or if they'd prefer to cook inside, the hidden worktop can be unveiled by stacking the mattresses on top of one another. And we'll show you this later. This van is completely gasless and runs off a high spec electrical system powered by a 460 amp hour Roma battery in the garage space and a 540 watt panel on the roof. It can power induction hobs and air fryers um, as well as the Truma Combi diesel boiler. So this layout is designed inside a six meter long Fiat Ducato van. We really like using this vehicle as a base model because it provides a good amount of living space, 3.65 meters inside with a 1.8 meter width. When we recess the head and foot of the bed, we can fit a full size double across the width of the van without the need for side pods. We've utilized the space underneath the van and have an 83 liter fresh tank and a 62 liter waste tank. These are both insulated and there's a heat element to prevent frost damage in the colder climates. Starting at the sliding door, we've put into this conversion an electric step to help you get into and out of the van. There's an awning light with a light switch here, and that's really good at night time when you're under the awning, chilling out with your friends and having a brew. Let's get inside and have a look behind the cab. Double swivel passenger seat is really useful because you can have this uh, lagoon leg table in this position and use your laptop here and enjoy the views wherever you're parked up. There's also a thick thermal curtain behind the driver's seat, which can be pulled away in the evenings to create a blackout effect and also to keep the warmth inside the living area of the van. Down below, we've got some storage steps where you can keep various items just utilizing that extra space. Look at this lovely featured shower door front. It's representing the gecko theme. Really happy with how it looks. Let's look inside the shower. As you can see, they've got this lovely full-size mirror here with a couple of um, hooks for your towels or dressing gowns. And then inside the actual shower, we've got the Rico Metro white tiles with grey grout. These ones are the flat tiles, so give a slightly different look to the bevel. I'm really happy with how they look. There's also a couple of hanging solutions here, which give you space to hang up clothes and use this as a drying room. The toilet is a nature's head composting loo, which is a really good appliance. And when you want to have a shower, you just remove this by taking the bungee off and stepping outside. Feedback from our clients has been really good with this product. When you're trying to live off grid and don't want to go to campsites to empty the toilet, it allows you to spend weeks at a time without having to get rid of the solid waste. The toilet works by separating the solids and the liquids and the solids can be disposed of like any compost waste. We provide the toilet with a block of this coconut coir, which is the matter used to get the compost process underway. 
There's also a manual agitator that's used every time you use the toilet to help agitate the solid waste. The shower is a standard domestic mixer bar with really good pressure. There's also a touch sensitive down light so you can use the toilet when, when it's night time as well and not disturb anyone else in the van. There is also a heat element in the bottom corner which dries the area out so you can use it as a drying. We also provide a custom shaped bamboo duckboard and stainless steel shower tray so that you know it's gonna last. So moving back behind the shower cubicle, we've got this full height pantry at high level and low level. And it has these really useful pull out baskets. So you can store all your dried foods inside uh, those with ease. We've also in the lower one installed a small cutlery drawer with uh, an oak divider for your obviously knife, forks and spoons. And these are all on soft closing hinges. Got a lovely oak worktop for the kitchen unit. And as previously mentioned, we've got double sockets up here so that you can plug in your portable cooking appliances, a double induction hob or a portable air fryer. There's an undermounted sink with these oak inserts, providing a really large sink for you to do your washing. And obviously a nice tap with an extendable hose as well. Underneath the sink, you've got some storage here for your cleaning products your boiler compartment. And this is where you need to access the drain down valve in order to winterize your van. And that's this yellow lever just here. There's a pots and pans drawer and storage for your portable cooking appliances, your induction hob and your air fryer. Above the kitchen worktop, you've got two overhead units here and there's down lighters that are touch sensitive. Here you can store your kitchenware and we've also in this right hand unit got the control panel. It's a Victron touch display showing your electrical system so you can monitor how long you can last off grid and what your electrical uh, usage is, is when you're running your appliances. It also clearly displays how much charge you're receiving from your solar panels so that you can decide how long you want to be off grid for. Underneath this is the Truma boiler touch display you can use this to set the room temperature that you want and also whether you want your hot water to be running or not. The boiler has a 10 litre hot water capacity and it takes about 20 minutes to come up to temperature. You can also utilise the Truma ventilation feature to help create a draft in your van by having the max air fan extracting and the Truma ventilation fans blowing. It helps to monitor the climate inside your van. On the Victron touch display, you can turn your inverter on and off by pressing this button. When you're not using your 230 volt sockets, we recommend switching your inverter off to save power. And you can also see on the right hand side, your water tank level displays. So the fresh water tank has 54% and your wastewater is currently empty. The owners of this van really wanted to be able to work whilst on the road. So having a decent desk was a real key feature for them. So I'll show you how this works now. You can see this solid oak table is a really nice uh, worktop to put your computer on and work from. There's also a small unit here which features a double plug outlet so that you can have a mini Mac or a laptop charger plugged in. You can close this cupboard front and any cables that you're still using can run through the top handle there and utilize this as a working desk. It features heavy duty draw sliders that are hidden by the skirt of this table, which gives it a floating effect, which is something that we really like. So to keep their food cold, we've got this 80 liter CRX fridge, which is really good. It runs off of the electrics and it has a small freezer compartment at the top there. There's a little light switch down here, which turns the low level LEDs on and off, which is a really nice feature, we think, in this van conversion. So the seating area in this van is a fixed box seat, so the owners can sit side by side. It has two compartments that are on gas struts here and here for storage, and they've also got a safe located in this box here, fire extinguisher and fire blanket. We've also created these custom oak shelf trims which are really nice and they match the worktop and the table themselves. 
These sit on the end of the overhead units to provide a nice little cubby for things like phones whilst they're charging, tablets and things like that. On the near side, we have three more overhead cupboards for storage of clothes, and all of these are on soft close hinges and gas struts. We really like the colour schemes in this van, and that's continued with the slatted ceiling effect that we've got here. This is a whitewashed pine ceiling slat, and we think it looks really nice with the bright blue background. What I love about these conversions is how cosy they are. When you come to the evening, you can close the sliding door, you can roll down this roller shutter here, which matches the colour scheme and have a nice private evening. This is an extra wide double bed, measuring one meter 50 wide by one meter 90 long. It features two reading lights at the head that are touch sensitive and have USB chargers in the base. And there's also a max fan above the bed, which can blow air into and out of the van to help with climate control. When you're settling in for the evening, you can draw these curtains at the back of the van and it provides a really cozy feel, but they also provide a bit of thermal insulation against the drafts from the back doors. This garage space has a hard rubber flooring and it's got the electrical unit on the near side there. The main air components of this electrical unit are the large 460 amp hour battery, which is from Roma, and the Victron MultiPlus, which is a 3000 watt inverter charger. This is an off-grid van and it runs without any gas, so it needs a lot of solar and a lot of battery to run for days, weeks at a time without having to plug in and charge. There are three methods of charging this van. The primary source is the solar charge controller, which is anytime there's, there's daylight hours, we'll be charging the batteries. The second method is the alternator charger. So when you're driving, the alternator will be charging the leisure battery as well. And then the third method is a backup method. So you can plug this van in on an electric hookup and provide 100 amps of charge into this lithium battery. On the off side of the garage, we've got the jack for the vehicle strapped to the back of the fridge. There's also the bag for the 25 meter hookup cable there. We've redesigned the boxing in on the offside to better utilise the space. We've put a nice oak trim along the top here. On top of this box, there's a little lip so you can store things on top. And there's also a little storage area on the end here with this external shower point connection here. You can lift the lid off and take out the shower head. And this just plugs in and operates. So this customer specifically wanted the option of having plenty of worktop space. So they split the bed in half down the middle and these two single mattresses can stack on top of one another, revealing some extra worktop space. I'll show you that now. So if you've decided that cooking outside is not for you and you want more worktop space, you can always utilise these double sockets at the back here to run your air fryer and induction hob. You could also plug in a TV if you want to use this area for that. That concludes the tour of this conversion called Gecko. We really like the unique features and hope you do too. Please like and subscribe to our channel and give us any comments down below. Hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.